from Lucen, Utah. <laughs> Who already can guess what this is? We are looking at Verisite. Verisite is a most beautiful thing. I've been in love with it ever since I first saw it. This wonderful material has kind of a close association with turquoise in jewelry making. Also some of the obsidians like the silver sheen and gold sheen obsidians a lot of times are used along with turquoise by some of the real southwestern old school craftspeople. Look at the cut face of this. This is really tremendous. It's a really rare thing. It comes from Lucen. Lucen today is considered a ghost town. It's mined over by the Great Salt Lake. Many people will know is kind of America's answer to the Dead Sea. It's so saline that you can float on it and do all those cool tricks. This is a big old thing. Since it's so unusual to have a rough this big, let's weigh it and find out. Four pounds and 0.1 ounce. Very nice and super huge. So this one I would call more of a massive kind of a verisite rough. Very typically what we're gonna have is it's gonna be somewhat porous in that there's a lot of holes in it. Of course, we're looking for the very capable stuff like the uninterrupted fields of green and you will see there's a ton of pattern and story in this type of massive crystal. This side is even better. This reminds me of diner colors of the 1950s in various sites. Slightly different color, a little bit lighter. There are some really, really neat things to look at in here. Right about here, we have some very turquoise colors. So much pattern, little scenes, quite like a picture Jasper when you look at it closely. This stuff commands a pretty high price on the market. So you can imagine having a slab like this. It's a quarter inch cut too. Some of the bugs can be used if they are crystalline enough inside. I don't think I would use this. This looks more like a hole than a really usable crystal bug. You would just have to make the decision as you go along. It has a different sort of a color. It's very similar. It is said that verisite can be often confused with turquoise and we have a perfect true life case of it right here because without testing this I can't be sure if it is verisite or if this is a turquoise vein. There's parts of Australia where verisite can be found in veins like this. It's very turquoisey looking so this could stand to be tested through a refractometer. Great looking material. In cutting this stuff it's very tricky. The gemstone material tends to be quite a bit harder than this sandstone matrix stuff. It's sort of a likely fracturing but it is possible to get some very nice slabs off of this material and polish it up and everything. Here's a good example. It's not polished, but it's a little caber of what they call in Australia ribbon verisite. And I'm already seeing a potential fracture in this one, but wow, look at that. I cut this, still got the saw tag on there really bad, but all I'd have to do is use a nipper to take that right off. That's tremendous. In the lower right hand corner, there's already kind of a flowing flag shape. This side is even developed a little bit more. It has another different kind of a color in there. Got some yellow on the green and that is really unique. And we have all sorts of lightning storms happening in here. Wow, okay, great. And that's kind of cut thick right there. Could slice it one more time, but right here, you can see these little spaces. There's little gaps in it here and there, which make it very, very prone to fracture. So this one, I am choosing to keep just as a specimen, just like this. Except of course, I'll take the saw tag off. The more prized types of verisite. Clay Canyon verisite is very difficult to get a hold of today. Here's an example of it. The whole rough would have little green pockets of verisite all through it. And now it's extremely hard to find this stuff. This went extinct during probably the first 20 years of my collecting. Now you've seen it. This is Clay Canyon Verisite with the little circle pockets in it. It's gotta be worth some money today, but it's kind of a historic record now from the heyday of Verisite mining. 
Thank you so much, and I will see you on the next one.